Here's a short tutorial on using forms to create quizzes and then how to post them on your library page. I'll try to run through a few options so you can see uh, exactly how to do this. When you're in Office 365, click on Forms. If you don't see Forms, click on All Apps and it'll show you all of the apps available. Click on Forms and then you will see that you can create either a new form or a new quiz. So let's create a new quiz. Uh, give the quiz a title and you can put a description if you want. So I'm just going to say week one. I'm not going to put a description for now. Then you can start adding questions. The types of questions are either choice, which is basically used for multiple choice or true and false. So let's put one of those first. Um, so the first one is online classes are great. And you can just put in true, false, and I'm going to say the correct answer is false. Tongue in cheek a bit. I'm going to give it a five point value and I'm going to say that it's required. Uh, there are other options which we'll look at in a minute. Uh, I'm going to add another question, make it another choice. Again, it's worth five points because I, it'll keep making each one five points until you change that. It's going to keep all your options the same until you change them. Uh, you also can Add a few more options here. I'm not going to add any right now, but you can make these a drop down app. So I'll make this one a drop down. And I'm going to say that the answer is 60 minutes, obviously. Add a new one. You can add a text option in. So you can say, uh... so here I've added in a new one. Where is the new chapel being built? Um, and then you can see you can add in some correct answers. Uh, if they answer any one of these answers, it'll be correct. Uh, you can go back and change. Um, Except other answers is correct later, but this will, will aid them in automatically grading uh, a quiz. You also can include um, another text and we'll say um, essay. Describe your day. And here we can say I'm going to make it a long answer. So this will make it so that the answer box will expand as they type and they can type as much as they want. This is a bigger one, so I'm going to make it worth 15 points. Uh, and then you can also add um, the, let's see, what do I want here? Another text field, and I want to make it a mathematical. And here you can actually add an equation uh, and use all the numbers here. For someone that's with math, that's great. You can work on that. I'm not going to go into that right now. So I'm going to delete this question. So I've got four questions on my quiz. Uh, you can also do things like set up sections. Uh, so I'm going to come in here and say add a new section. So I've added a section called bonus questions. First one I already filled out offline how many apostles were there 10 12 14 and i marked 12 as the answer also if you do something like this a choice um you could say uh is christendom a catholic college I... and you'll see that it gives you some options yes no maybe well okay you can add them all there we go yes no maybe i'm going to say the answer is yes Again, five points automatically required. Uh, and that's all I'm going to do for now. So this is the quiz. I can say preview the quiz. Shows you what it looks like. It tells you, since I'm logged in right now, hi, Stephen. When you submit this, the owner will be able to see your name and email address. So it'll automatically assign it to the student that's logged in. Uh, you can see what it will look like on a mobile device. Uh, now I'm going to go back. And there are some settings over here. Uh, you can show them their results automatically if you want them to see an immediate result. Uh, just turn this off if you don't want them to see that. Uh, by default here, it's set so that only people in my organization can respond. Record the name, one person, one response per person. If you want students to be able to take the quiz a second time in case they it messed up on them or something, you could uncheck this. If you want the quiz to start on a certain date or end on a certain date, you can put those in here. Uh, this is a good way to do it if you want to set a quiz up but don't want it to come up till say, every Friday uh, at a certain time. Just put that in if you want it to end at a certain time. If you don't care when it ends, just don't 
select an end date. If you don't care when it starts, just don't put a start date. Uh, you can use a customized thank you message when you're done. So you can put up whichever you want there so that they will see that when they're done. And then you can say whether or not you want to get notif notified. Um, that's where you click here for you to get an email or and or uh, the student to get an email saying that they got a receipt um, for the quiz. So those are all the different options you have. Once people start taking your quizzes, uh, you will see, and I will go back to my forms here, my sample online quiz, you can see I have 73 responses. So here's my quiz, and here are my 73 responses. You get an overview, which shows you so that for each question, I've got 72 people answered, the, answered it correctly. Uh, one person answered the wrong date there. Uh, 69 people answered this one correctly, and so forth. Uh, if you want to see the individual responses, then you can review answers. You can go through person by person here and see what they said. Uh, you can go question, uh, by people, or you can go by questions and look at all the different responses and see who responded. Um, and then you can also open it in Excel. And when you do that, it's going to open an Excel document we're going to see if this works or not. And here's your responses. And you can see everyone's response, the answers they gave. So you can look at it all uh, in one document here. Hopefully this answers a lot of the questions you might have about the um, creating the quizzes. Now, if you want to post the quiz on your site, click the share button. And you want to click the embed code here and just copy this embed code. The code is ready for you to paste. Okay, now you can go over to your page and I am going to go to one I have here called Stevens Playground. And I'm going to put a new quiz in. So I'm going to add a new box. Uh, I could put it in an existing box if I wanted to. But I'm just going to go ahead and put it in a new box here. And in this box, I will say Media Widget. Give it some sort of a name so you know what it is. Paste in the code. You can expand if you want to see all the code. Now, if you want, the two things you can change in this window are the size, uh, the width, and the height of the quiz. You could just leave them as they are, but if you decide you want to make them bigger, smaller, um, that's where you would change it. But make sure that you only change the numbers and not the PX there because that symbolizes or it di dictates what unit you are using, in, in this case, pixels. But I'm just going to accept the defaults here, save it. And now we see the quiz here. And if I go out and I preview this page, which you can preview any page by clicking Guide Preview up here. And you'll see the new quiz that I just added in is right here. Uh, and the students can take that. Now, if a student is not logged in, and I will show you what that looks like. So here's a new window where I am not logged in yet. And I'm going to go to the quiz page. out this form and the student will fill it out will ask to fill it out they will then log in and then they can take the quiz High circulation, this is the circulation desk account, and they can take the quiz. Put whatever answers they want in. And when they submit, thank you, your response was resubmitted, submitted. View the results, and I can look here and see which ones I got right, which ones I got wrong. So there are a lot of things that you can do here. Um, other than what I've showed you, but this is at least a, a sort of quick and dirty way to see how to create a quiz, how to embed it on your page. Uh, if you have further questions, please pop over to the Teams 
online course resources board and ask uh, in the in the channels there. Thank you.